Good morning and welcome to this good morning, Sally. pastoral conversation. It's great to see you, Pastor Stephen. It's good to see you. And uh, it was good to be back in church on Sunday. And I, what I especially enjoyed about Sunday is I went upstairs because uh, I heard there was going to be some children singing. And um, uh, I just loved it. The children were into it, but what I did was watch the faces and actions of the parents and, and, and relatives and friends. And they so enjoyed seeing their children filled with the joy of faith and uh, uh, having fun with things of Jesus. And um, I, I also thought it was uh, a wonderful way to convey what we believe through, through song and music. Um, the other is then, you know, it was so well organized and so people could work together and you guys made a hundred, uh, care kits and those are really important. We, we made these kits also at, at St. Luke on Belmont. <coughs> and I remember during this winter, always having some with me Yeah. and there was my regular guy, uh, near my house, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> at Clark Street uh, okay. and um, uh, by Thorndale. And when I gave him the care kit, he, he looked in it and he looked at it and then he just smiled. And he said, do you have another one for my buddy? Oh, that's the best. And you know, so, one of the things that I love most about these kindness kits, care kits, they're kind of all the same thing, um, is that not only are they resourced by St. Luke's and we are still taking donations if you want to help. They are put together by the kids and families and congregation of St. Luke's and they're distributed by St. Luke's. That this is truly a mission um, of local proportion that it's people that you encounter on your daily journeys that, that are recipients of these. Um, we do keep a few in the office if people uh, come by the church looking for help. But we encourage you to stop by and grab some to put in your car if you're traveling, you know, this Memorial Day weekend or even uh, later in the summer. Grab a few, stick them in the car. They're non-perishable items on purpose. Um, do it. Help us, help us spread the love and let Jesus' uh, hands and feet be our hands and feet. And uh, so this was this past Sunday. Now, this coming Sunday, um, one service at 10, yep. and we're going to celebrate the ascension of Jesus. Well, what's and the ascension? The, yeah, well, that's that's a really precious event. And spoiler alert, in the sermon, I'm going to share how one group of kind of crazy people at a seminary celebrated ascension with a rocket launch, Ooh. but uh, that'll, that'll be for Sunday. Um, <laughs> But this, this strange story of Jesus levitating, um, what it's all about really is, think about it. How will we be with our children or the children of this parish? It's by what we share with them, put in them, and then we're always with them. And in some way, Jesus left this intimate time with his 12 and the others that he was close to in order to be with all of us. And, and, uh, and that's why he said, I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit so that rather than me being in one place with 12 and the others, I can be with all of you all the time and be with us as the victor, the one who is is with us on the other side of the grave. And that promise that that one, that risen Christ, who is ascended and is at the right hand of God, will be with us at the other end of the grave too. Amen. If that's not good news, I don't know what is. Yeah. And that good news uh, became personal for, for me this week. In the pastor's blog, you'll hear about a loss in our extended family. And, uh, I will leave you to that for the details, but um, please keep in your prayers uh, my nephew Peter, 
who died in Christ, and his mother, my sister Helene, Peter and Helene. And that's why I have the comfort, really, and we all do, of knowing that the ascended Lord has the future in God's hands, including Peter's, Helene's, me, and you. Amen. Preach it, brother. It's like you are called to do this. <laughs> there are um, other things happening here uh, this summer. Um, we did get our outdoor worship permit. So the second Sunday's at St. Luke's in the summer. It's going to be your tongue twister for the next few months. Um, we will be having worship outdoors on Cedar Street. So you'll be invited to bring you our lawn chair and come and join us. Wagons, bubbles, sidewalk chalk, all of the fun. And I believe that uh, the outreach cabinet is going to put together Sundays on Sunday. So some ice cream after each of those outdoor worships. So the mess can stay outside instead of all over indoors. Uh, obviously, if it is horrible weather, if it's ghastly hot or pouring buckets, we'll be back in the sanctuary. Um, so we are excited to come together. Keep an eye out for a bunch of different uh, summer opportunities this year as we continue to regather as a community in what feels like seeing the end of this COVID tunnel and being able to look forward to um, a fully open fall as we regather in new and different ways. As well, I'm happened. glad I'm out of that tunnel. Yeah, it's been a long tunnel. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's surely light. Good. Okay, well. Uh, oh, lastly, sorry, I had to check my notes one last time. Um, with all of the services coming this summer and knowing that lots of people travel, we are in need of folks who can come and help us with those Sunday services. Uh, so assisting ministers, readers, musicians, hospitality, um, we are happy to train you and give you pieces that um, are helpful to us, but also are of comfort to you. Um, trainings available and, you know, being a good friend is almost as much as you need to do hospitality and can take direction well. Um, yeah, you know, I pulled up uh, a little bit late, but maybe 15 minutes before the 8.30 service. And there in front of the open doors were two people there greeting me like they greeted everyone. And I got to tell you, it gave me a, a wonderful feeling. This right. church is open. Its doors are open. Its people are there to greet you. So this is important. Absolutely. And, uh, we Those hope first find encounters... Is make or break experiences of, of congregational life. So we hey. encourage you to do so. Have a safe and healthy holiday weekend. I'm excited to be a part of the uh, Park Ridge uh, Memorial Day Parade as a part of the chaplaincy team here. So some of you who are in town, perhaps I'll see you on the parade route. Bye. Bye.